Now, more than a thousand people showed up to a public memorial service for Heather Heyer on Wednesday. Heyer was killed Saturday in a car attack there in Charlottesville, Virginia. At the service, her mother spoke about what good she hopes will come out of the loss of her daughter. They tried to kill my child to shut her up. Well, guess what? You just magnified her. Don't look the other way. You make a point to look at it and say to yourself, what can I do to make a difference? And that's how you're going to make my child's death worthwhile. I'd rather have my child, but by golly, if I got to give her up, we're going to make it count. David Begno joins us now from Charlottesville in Virginia. David, this is a picturesque college town. What more can you tell us about the scene at uh, Heather Heyer's memorial service on Wednesday? It was peaceful today, really peaceful after the weekend of violence. And a few tense days after that, there was a young girl, seven-year-old Ava, who was handing out flowers to strangers. A man today, probably 100 feet, maybe 200 feet from where I'm standing, who was standing just like this, blindfolded, and his sign said, will you trust me? And he was offering free hugs. And I'm telling you, one after the other, people came up and hugged him. Couldn't see him, but was just trying to give hugs. Uh, it's a really sweet community. College town, but a lot of locals have come out here angry. And a lot of these people were people who were here on Saturday who saw what happened. Look, there was a man who owns an art studio just up the block. In fact, up the same block, not very far from where the crash happened. And he was fuming. He was fuming at what the president said. He was angry with how he felt like this was sort of casting a dark cloud over Charlottesville. He didn't even know if he wanted to go to the memorial today for Heather Heyer, which, by the way, happened at the theater right behind me. It was packed, 100 and I'd say probably 1,500 people. That was the capacity. Almost every seat was full. But it was a moving memorial. I mean, her mother was incredibly articulate and emotional as she spoke. You could tell it's a woman who doesn't like to talk much on camera, but's ready to do it for her daughter. And look, didn't sugarcoat things. She was like, listen, I had a difficult daughter. When you went to dinner with her, it was an ordeal. But she said half the time she was so passionate about what she believed that you listened to her. And you know what? When else would we talk about Heather Heyer? She's not a household name. The reason she's a household name tonight is because of what happened to her at the hands of a man who police say intentionally turned down a one-way street and had about 10 seconds to think about what he was doing before he plowed his car into a group of people. Just incredible. The attorney general has indicated that this is likely a domestic terror attack. And for many people there in Charlottesville, they feel that outsiders, those who are part of this Unite the Right rally, were coming into town, uh, surrounding themselves around this uh, Confederate statue removal to really use it as a platform for their message. Do we have any sense now uh, that Heather Heyer's mother has spoken and said, let's turn this into action, as to how people there intend to do that? Good question. No, not really. People have stood at the memorial in silence, chalked on the ground, chalked on the walls, and thought about, what do you do? I talked to a man who yesterday who said, what do I do? when I can't stand what's coming out of the president's mouth and I'm worried that what he's saying is going to cause another something like what happened here in Charlottesville to happen again. What do they do? I don't know. It's a pretty small police department, roughly 150 officers and a police chief who said he did his best. They had around 1,000 law enforcement officers on Saturday, but they were criticized. The chief said he told his men to show up in regular uniform. And I asked him at the press conference, why would you send them into an event like that in regular uniform? He didn't really answer the question. What happens from here, I don't know. We tried to see if the protesters were getting another permit. We're told they're trying to protest here again. They likely will, but as of not have, but they haven't gotten a permit as of now. And Errol, we can tell you that we confirmed from a city official late this evening, actually, that the counter protesters, of which Heather was one of, they had two permits to be in the city inside of two different parks on Saturday. So they had the right to be in a couple of parks and the white supremacists had the right to be in Emancipation Park. Now, the counter protesters also had the right to go into Emancipation Park. Why? Because as the city official told us, it is a park after all, and we would not have arrested them had they gone in there. All right. David Begnaud, uh, taking the temperature for us there in Charlottesville, people concerned that what happened there could be repl replicated, although people uh, honor the message of Heather Heyer, that won't take place. David, thanks very much. You bet.